Hello, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh, and some of you may remember I did a video for George and Ori, Coast to Coast AM, where I said there are more crazy people out there. There's 7 million people in the San Francisco Bay Area, and statistics out there say 1 in 6 Californians have mental illness. And I don't know what the hell it is, but I seem to attract the nuts. Now, I'm not making light of people who are mentally ill, mentally Ill, who need treatment, who have bipolar disease, but there are some weird people out there. Yesterday, I forgot my wallet, couldn't see it, had to come back, was almost late to the doctor. So I go to the bank, conduct some banking business, go to the bus stop, stop at a Chinese restaurant to get some chow fun and some sweet and sour pork or barbecued pork, which wasn't that great. But I'm sitting eating the chow fun because I really I ate one of the TV dinners from the Meals and Wheels, but it wasn't, wasn't enough during the night, and I was still hungry. So I'm sitting waiting for the bus, and I've got about 30 minutes to wait for the bus, and I'm eating my chow fun. This guy walks up, sits down, and I've got the cup over my right eye. Wrong eye, folks. And... He says, you're going to make us all hungry eating that food. And I looked at him like, so? I'm eating my food. You know, I'm hungry. And he looks in my eye, and he gives me the weirdest question I think I've ever heard anybody ask. I told my doctor that, and he went, what? This guy looks in my right eye with the cup and the, and the tape on it and says, did you have a colonoscopy? And I looked at him like, what? And I'm going like, what? the hell does this guy think? Where where does he think there's a colonoscopy in your eyeball? So I just shook my head. He got on another bus. All the nuts seemed to show up at Amtrak or on the bus or on BART. So I get on the bus. This guy gets on behind me. And what was really creepy, he looked like a twin of Cassio, or as I call him, Crappio, Robert Robinson III. And Cassio loves North Korea. He loves Kim Jong-un or whatever the hell his name is, the crazy leader of North Korea. I don't know why Cassio didn't go to North Korea and stay there, but that's beside the point, since he loves the North Korean communist government so much. And I'm playing on my iPad, and the guy goes, are you playing? And he says some game. I said, no, I'm playing a game called Dominations. And he sees my eye. He said, well, did you have this surgery? I no, I had cataract surgery. Oh, well, you know, if you drink aloe vera, it will help with that. I went, oh, God, I, I need advice from some guy on the bus. Then he goes, are you rich? I go, no. Why? Well, I can give you a million dollars. I'm going, right, sure. Uh, I have to, uh, you know, I know the South Korean defector, and he didn't shoot anybody. Now, this is a guy who escaped across the border. He was border guard. They got him to the hospital because he was shot like five or six times while he was trying to escape. And they found these huge 10-inch parasitic worms in him. So I guess that's a lot, a lot North Koreans have. I guess they're eating tainted pork or God knows what or they're, they're tryptospirosis or something. They're getting through their feet. So... He goes on and says, yeah, I, I, I can print out any amount of money I want. I just need to get authorization from the South Korean government. Well, <laughs> we get to our bus stop, and the guy leaves, and I tell the driver there are 8 million nuts in the naked city, and they all seem to be on whatever bus I ride. Then Kathy and I, the day before we go into the city, we're on BART, and three guys show up, young guys. These guys are like maybe late teens, early 20s. This is like, you know, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. they got giant boom boxes on wheels. This is a whole operation. It's almost like military precision. They proceed, uh, you know, how you doing? I hope you're having a wonderful New Year, yada, 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 the whole spiel. And then they're break dancing, and they got the music blaring, and I haven't slept all night. And I'm going, the last thing I want to hear is break dancing. And one of them almost hits my bad kneecap with his foot. 
So I put my cane out to protect my knee. And you see us on BART all the time. The BART directors are liberals. They won't do anything about the homeless sleeping in the BART stations. They won't do anything about the people going from car to car. There's a guy with an accordion. He and his wife are Muslim. They carry their baby. We need help for baby. I'm going, why did you have the baby in the first place? There's a guy who has no legs and he sings. There's guys who get on there and they sing. There's guys playing instruments in the hallways of BART. And they sound like El Cabong from the old quick drama Gra cartoon. And they had a guy yesterday. I'm going back here. He's sitting down in the middle of the platform with an electric piano. And he's got a sign, uh, thank you for listening, if you care to donate. This is, a, this is also not legally legal to do. You're not supposed to spare change on the BART system. And you're not supposed to play radios, boom boxes, CD players, have your cell phone up too loud, the ringer. It's the law. But he's playing this song, but it's not he's playing. He's making the motions of playing. But the, the electronic piano on, a, on the stand is playing the song. So he's not doing anything but mimicking, <laughs> hitting the keys. And he, the same song is playing over and over and over again. This is like Bad Stevie Wonder or something. So I get on the train. I'm going, oh, God. But, you know, you don't see this during the rush hour when the trains are packed with people shoulder to shoulder. You see this at 1, 2, 3 in the afternoon. And I guess it's a racket. The, the three guys with the giant speakers that must cost a lot of money, they went up and down the aisles uh, with hats out. And I've talked to the BART cops in the past. I used to go to Laney, the BART police and BART headquarters there in Oakland. And they said, well, we throw them off the train. They're not supposed to be asking people for money. But in a couple of hours, they get back on somewhere else, and we have to throw them out again. So, but, you know, I got another guy the other night. I went to Safeway, and the guy is homeless. He asks for you for money, and he starts babbling about something. And I don't know what he was talking about, but I, I seem to, I just seem to attract these people for some reason. And then, as I'm going out of BART and to get, I went to Starbucks and a cup of coffee. There's a guy lying on the sidewalk, and he has a sign, mentally ill, please give. So... And he's coughing his guts out. I guess he's got bronchitis or something. He was sleeping on the sidewalk. And it had been raining. But I think it's very sad that a lot of people, these people, to be serious, uh, don't get treatment. But they're just weird people. I've, I've seen guys on Stockton Street screaming at the top of the lungs. I've seen them here in downtown Martinez. They're screaming at the top of the lungs. One guy, the entire... I watched him walk for about three blocks, and every other word was MF. And uh, you MFs, you can't make me do that. I won't do that. FY, on and on and on. And the strangest guy I've ever seen, there are a bunch of developmentally challenged people. There's two of these facilities here in downtown Martinez. They have to escort the, these people around town. And the one guy, I don't think they saw what he was doing. I'm coming out of my balcony, and I watch this small parade of people, about 12 people. And the one guy at the end, he's yelling the MF words, and he's got his hand on his pants. He's got a full erection, and he's masturbating while he's yelling, you, you MFs, you can't you make me do this. I won't do this, and he's going on against white people, and I'm going like, oh my God. So, uh, this is one big reason why I and Kathy want a car, to, to, so we're not accosted by nuts, traveling troubadours, 
who don't play music or play boom boxes so loud. The whole, I, I've seen guys on bar, uh, uh, the music so loud, the car's shaking. The car's already shaking going through the tunnel. Accordions, violins, cellos. Now, yesterday there was a guy playing classical music. That was nice. He had a violin. I played the violin years ago. Uh, there were two guys over Christmas. They were playing very nice songs. I talked to them for a while. I gave them two bucks, even though they said, we're not asking for donations. They just like to play for people. And one used to play in the San Francisco Symphony Orchestra. He was retired. So that's nice. If you have talent, I've got no problem with it. But if you think you you can sing, I heard, you remember of Animal House where John Belushi walks down the stairs and smashes the guitar of the folk singer. There was one woman, she's singing the national anthem, and it was painful, and she's playing a guitar, and I'm going, lady, you can't sing, you can't play the guitar, give it up, I don't, I didn't say it to her, but I thought that, so there's, the whole city of San Francisco is turned into a homeless camp, and the crazies are out in, 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 in droves, and this is why, one big reason why I hate going to the city to go to the doctor, but I have to go. All right, this is George Send, the guy from Pittsburgh. I hope you don't run into these people where you are. Have a great day. Stay warm and safe out there. Enjoy your weekend, and uh, hope you're enjoying your new year. Bye-bye for now.